Hello. Uh, I'm already fixed up to go to Scarborough to be uh, with uh, my family there. And uh, I just want to record this video message, my Christmas message for 2015. And I prepared this, so uh, hopefully this will also give you some, some uh, things to think about as we celebrate Christmas. So Christmas has always been a special season for me, giving me this kind of joy and hope about life, about all the good and great things in life. It's not just happiness, something external or material. Of course, who would not be happy to receive gifts at 35? Just saying. Christmas is or should be more of joy, uh, something from within. May it be from thoughts or feelings or from our sentiments. To me, the trappings, the decorations, the food and drinks, the gifts are but manifestations of that expression of relationship we have with each other, be it family or friends, persons we work with, even passers-by or strangers. You cannot help greet with all cheers persons you meet along the way, Merry Christmas, or here, because you need to be sensitive to their religious preferences, just say Happy Holidays. Or well, if not those, just a bigger, wider smile unlike your ordinary, everyday smile on Christmas Day. To me, this is what Christmas allows us to experience, to share. There is nothing individual or personal about Christmas. You cannot celebrate Christmas as an individual. Here, many who are on their own, especially immigrants like myself, feel anxious already or depressed as they plan out what to do in Christmas. Some plan out parties. Some just be in crowd with strangers like in a bar or an event for as long as they are not alone. Many cannot find these alternatives and so, without a choice, they feel sad and lonely, alone on Christmas Day. And this experience of sadness on Christmas Day draws negativity most often than it is a challenge. And it can be a sinkhole for the rest of the year. Reality-wise, if we celebrate Christmas alone or do not or refuse to celebrate Christmas, fictional characters like Mr. Scrooge or the Grinch are perfect examples of their disposition. And I must say, not only during Christmas Day, but even for life. Much of how their lives are depicted in the, the stories we tell about them are nothing but, primarily, drawn from real persons in life. It's a vicious cycle. And so, as we celebrate Christmas, there must always be others. There must always be someone who will experience it with you, who will share it with you. This is the reason why Christmas is always celebrated as a group. Christmas is communal. It is celebrated with family and or friends. And this is my message to all of you, my family and friends there back home in the Philippines, here in Canada, and all over the world. This same joy invigorates to look past what is bad, hope and work always for the good and great things in life, for others and I like to emphasize for others life is about you life is not about you it is about and always will be you with and for others one universal humanity and I think if we have this mindset we would not have this problems we have in the world once we uh, recognize ourselves as part of this bigger community always part of this bigger community this is what we celebrate every Christmas humanity so thank you very much for for all the prayers and the uh, the the support directly or indirectly whether here or there as I uh, went through my life for the year 2015 and of course I'll, I'll make another one for New Year's uh, Eve for, for the new year. But definitely, uh, I, I want to greet all of you a Merry Merry Christmas. Uh, wherever you are, may you always spend it with people whom you love. And if not, at least people whom you are willing to recognize their humanity. So thank you very much. Merry Christmas to one and all.